Is the era of the fighter jet over? Let's take a look. Hi everyone. Yesterday in Orlando, Tesla and SpaceX founder Elon Musk weighed in on the future of manned fighters, and it has kicked off quite a debate. I normally don't do videos like this, but I wanted to hear your opinions on this important topic. All right, let's dive right in. During a talk with Air Force General John Thompson at the Air Warfare Symposium in Orlando, Florida, Musk said, The fighter jet era has passed. Drone warfare is where the future will be. It's not that I want the future to be, it's just this is what the future will be. Musk then went on to add, Locally autonomous drone warfare is where it's at, where the future will be. It's not that I want the future to be this, it's just what the future will be. The fighter jet era has passed. Yeah, the fighter jet era has passed. It's drones. He then went on to say this about the most advanced fifth generation fighter, the F-35. The Joint Strike Fighter, there should be a competitor. That's a controversial subject, but I don't think it's good to have one provider. This of course is referring to the plan of using the F-35 as the frontline fighter for the Air Force, Navy, and Marines. The argument for retiring manned fighters and switching to a drone-operated force is of course nothing new. For decades, planners have argued that the era of manned fighter planes is over, and there was even a movie back in 2005 called Stealth that addressed this very topic. So, are man fighters going away soon? Let's take a look at the current fighters and their expected remaining service life. The US Air Force F-16 has just been upgraded to extend its operational time to 12,000 hours, meaning that the Air Force Viper won't be retired until at least 2048 and export versions until 2070. The F-15X, or Advanced Eagle, will extend its airframe service life to 20,000 hours, which should allow the fighter to serve until 2050. The F-18 Super Hornet has been receiving incremental upgrades as well, with her projected service life well into 2040. The F-22 is a highly capable, lethal, fifth-generation stealth fighter. Although production of the airplane was cut short with less than 200 examples being built, the Air Force has maintained that the Raptor could be operational as late as 2060. And then there's the newest entry, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Built to eventually replace all the previously mentioned fighters, the F-35 incorporates the most advanced avionics and sensor fusion for a truly integrated view of the battlefield. The F-35 is still being brought into frontline service, and if previous fighters are any indication, the Lightning II will serve for a long time, maybe even into the 2080s. Other nations, such as Russia and China, are also developing manned fighters that will serve well into the 2040s. So it begs the question, with all these fighters having operational lifespans that easily cover the next 20 to 40 years, is there an end in sight for manned fighters? Getting back to Elon's comments, following the symposium he had this to say on Twitter about the F-35. The competitor should be a drone fighter plane that is remote controlled by a human, but with its maneuvers augmented by autonomy, the F-35 would have no chance against it. So are drones the answer today? Is the Air Force being risk adverse and not embracing the future? Is Elon Musk or SpaceX already working on a competitor for the F-35? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.